Hello lovely viewers, it's me Kelly again. Um, I'm back at you today with some green ink swatches and I'm not doing a top-down thing because I just want to talk to you guys and I for some reason here we go. I didn't remember where I put my glass dip pen which is the same one I used in the last video I did like this, the J. Urban um, standard glass dip pen. So, I wanted to do some like standard greens, but there's a couple in here that are a little darker that are mainly in there because I really love dark green. Um, I'm wondering where to start first. Let's do Fukudokuju, which is the Pilot 100th Anniversary Green. So how's everybody doing? I'm slowly going insane, but it's okay. Ooh, yeah, this green is nice. This one is, it's a little bit too bluish to be like a true green. I think Elf um, by Diamine Ink Fent 2019 is going to be our best bet there. But... Fuku Roku Ju Pilot Hiroshi Zuku 100th Anniversary. I'm just constantly wanting to ink up my pens with something new, and I'm particularly having an issue with my Twisby Diamond 580 ALR. The purple edition, which I really like a lot. Um, my issue is... I feel like every ink I've been putting in there doesn't quite speak to me for it. Like, I put in Robert Oster Hippo Purple, and that just wasn't... It's a nice ink, but it wasn't quite what I wanted. And then I put in Hime Ajisai by Kobe ink, and that was... Too, it's too light, <laughs> and it really bugs me that it's not, it's like too light to be really that legible, and it's annoying. But it's very beautiful, but it's, maybe it's better in a more broad nib, because the one I have is an extra fine. Oh yes, this is so pretty. So this next one is the Taurus Zodiac Ink by Boonga Box, which is Sailor and Ken Takeda. This is very similar to Fukurokuju. And Taurus Zodiac. I actually won a contest that Boonga Box is still running, actually, if you're interested. If you have a Sailor Zodiac ink or fountain pen that they released over the last year. Um, they're doing this contest where you like take a photo of either the ink or the pen or both. I, uh, I happen to have the Taurus pen and ink. Um, but you can win even if you just do one. So I totally won and I was like, oh my gosh, I could kind of feel it. I was like, I know I'm gonna win this. So <laughs> I Basically, if you win the photo, they're... Oh, I'm doing such a bad do job of explaining this. They're doing, like... First, they start with Aries. So if you have the Aries ink or pen. And then they did Taurus. And then they're going through the Zodiac that way. So when you win, you get to select your choice of a Boonga Box Zodiac ink that you don't have, obviously. So... Obviously, I have the Taurus, and I chose the Leo, not because it is my moon sign, though that is awesome. It's because it's basically the color out of all the Zodiac inks that I had. I don't have anything like it in my collection, so I felt the need to get that one. Also, what I'm about to do is insane. This is the Lamy Green. I really want to put this ink on the paper, so I'm going to poke it. I shouldn't use a pencil. I should use something else. But I don't really have anything else. 
So I'm gonna use a pencil. Yes, this is a fancy black wing. Ooh, oh, that was actually really easy. Lammy's is a lot easier than some of these other brands to poke open. Oh yeah. Hey, that, that wasn't that bad. Were you? Oh yeah, boom, boom. Cool. That color is also very similar. <laughs> I'll show you guys once this is all said and done, you'll be like, Kelly, did you just swatch the same color three times? No, I didn't. They're all super similar though. Green Lammy. This one, I can tell, I can tell they're all slightly different. Um, the Lamy Green seems to be the brightest of these three so far. I don't know if you can, yeah. They're very similar though. I really like green. Okay, so now we're going on to the Elf by Diamond Ink Vent 2019. Also, the thing, so the thing about the Zodiac, I ordered the Leo, it's like this kind of red orange color. It's really pretty. And they did send it before um, the Japan Postal Service um, stopped shipping to the United States temporarily. But I think maybe it's still in Japan because it's not here yet, which is fine. It Obviously, it's a free thing that I won, um, but I'm very excited to get it so that I can play with it. So we've got Elf. This one, I think Elf really is the most true green I own. It's it's more warm than these other ones I just swatched. Um, Diamine Ink Vent 2019. Oh yeah. I haven't actually inked a pen with Elf yet. I know, I'm terrible. It's so pretty though. So then after that, I've got these two mistletoe and Shizuoka green tea, the latter of which is my favorite ink of all time. No pressure. Ooh. So here is mistletoe. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a beaut right there. Yeah, this one doesn't have quite as much oompa as the as the Shizuoka green tea. Also, okay, if you're watching this and you're into inks, which you probably are, otherwise, why are you here? Um, other than if you're my friend Morgan. Hi, Morgan. I said hi. Because um, she's supportive and watches my shit. Um, mi how do you spell mistletoe? Miss Toe Toe. What am I trying to say? Oh, so at Oblation Papers and Press, which is the store that I am currently laid off from, but I'm still like, once I'm able to, they they want me back, but I'm just temporarily laid off because of what's happening. Um, apparently we got in the Pelican Moonstone ink. And I'm so excited about that. So on our website, we're having 20% off all bottled inks. So if you're into it and you're like, man, Goulet still isn't, uh, Goulet still isn't shipping. Guess who is shipping? We are. So not to like plug my, where I work or anything, but I'm plugging where I work. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I will link our website down below, and um, if you have questions, you can call and my boss will answer, and um, or you can even comment down below and I'll answer because I'm, <laughs> what am I doing? Um, so anyway, the Moonstone Pelican ink is like something I really want to see, and I think I want to go to Portland and swatch it 
and then put it put the swatch on the website because everyone wants to know what it looks like i haven't seen it have you guys seen a swatch of that yet um because i have not oh yeah shizuoka green tea is the best ink that exists in my opinion it's so rich dark rich green with like it just looks like you can eat it and it's Bungu Kan Kobayashi and Sailor is the manufacturer of that ink. Um, God, it's pretty. <laughs> I've got, see, it looks like I have a lot left, which I probably do. I got this ink about a year ago because I went to visit my friend Kie in Japan about a year ago which was so much fun. She lives in Shizuoka, which just so happens to be where this ink is located. And she was actually the one when I was telling her I was crazy about fountain pens and shit. She was like, oh my gosh, we should go to this place. It's in Shizuoka City, which is in Shizuoka Prefecture, which is like an hour from her place, but it was like on the way from the bullet train type of thing. So we did that and it was... I was so sad that I didn't get there sooner because they were like closing up shop and I was like frantically like, ah. so <laughs> anyway, that was long winded. So Shizuoka Green Tea has this co reddish, co it's like copper, it's like a copper sheen to it. And then the mistletoe has more of a red going on. These are still wet right now, but um, is that better? Maybe I'll do it like this. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at me. So there you go. Those are my greens that are all the most similar to each other. I have other ones that are like um, more teal or like November Rain and Holly are very similar colors from both from Diamine. Also Walden um, by Organic Studios. I have that too, which is a sheen monster, by the way. Um, but God, these are pretty. I think the green Lammy is proving to be a lot different from these first two because it's got kind of a golden sheen going on. I don't know if you can tell that from this. They're so pretty. Anyway. I don't really remember. I think I interrupted myself a few times. I'm sorry about that. Um, oh yeah, linking oblation, all of the things. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.